Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's look at our step right here, which will get the user's browser to expire the cookies. So we need to now, for our fourth step, we need to destroy the session. So remember the difference between a session and a cookie? They're pretty much the same thing, except the cookie gives up information. It's kind of like the get and the post variables. Get gives up the string and the URL and post doesn't. So if you're transferring passwords through a form, you never want to use get because you can see it in the URL string right there. So what we're gonna do for our fourth step is we're gonna go ahead and create it. And let's go ahead and drop down, give it a comment, because I've been doing it for the other ones. And we want to destroy the session. So session destroy is an awesome PHP variable that will that will completely override every single session variable that, we'll, that we've created from our login. It's gonna completely destroy it on our logout page. So make sure you have this code, make sure you have all this code correct so far. Since we have our functions.phpile sourced in up here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to redirect, because keep in mind redirect to is a function we created, it's not a PHP function. The PHP function is header, which is included in our redirect uh, function that we created, our function mini program. Close that out. I got double quotations. We're going to go to login.php. I'm going to add a string. I'm going to add a query to this right here. I'm going to call this logout equals one, which is um, going to be part of our get form or our get method because it's going to display inside of our URL right here when we log out. That's going to be our string. So let's save that. Okay, so if we have this here, let's go to our login.php page and let's conclude the rest of our else statement. So let's go to our login.php, let's open this beast up. And let's scroll down to right here, if the form has not been submitted. So let's go ahead and just create another if statement with an if set. If is set, and we'll use our get super global variable right here get and in here we'll index log out and I'm going to include let me give it another condition and um, 